Hello friends, my name is Kyle, Real Revelations Everywhere. In this video, it's going to be a direct follow-up to the practice series. I want to talk about what it looks like when you have developed your thought process through constructive practice, what you can glean from it and ways that you can structure what you're learning to make it a lot more easily accessible in the moment. So you don't want to be, you know, sitting around tapping your forehead in the middle of the game thinking, hmm, what could I, where, what could I have done and what do I need to do better and just be, you know, in your rocking chair considering as the game is going on that doesn't really that's not where we are trying to land sometimes that you know that might end up happening <laughs> you see something really special that you are quite confused about what to do about it you know obviously i said it before that's something to appreciate you know a few thumbs up for them but you don't want to be caught flat-footed wondering what you could have done while the game is going on you need your practice to develop a thought process that you can lean back on. That's obvious. In the heat of the moment, you have practiced, you have shown yourself that you can move that quickly, but you still need to take all of that information and condense it into something that is more instinctual than something you are, you know, re you're reciting the steps. All right, well. I haven't made a few shots now, so yeah, when I get the ball, and then I, and then I, and then I, and then I do this, and then I do that, and then I, like, you, it's gotta be, I gotta get back to my blank, whatever you have developed that works well for you, for your situation, for your variables, something you develop for yourself that is going to fit your needs. It's really important that this is something that means a lot to you, that it means something important in the heat of the moment that you can reflexively get back to doing what you have developed quickly as fast as possible for when you are taken out of your rhythm right so we know what we have practiced but it's still you can't just be reciting what you've gone over in practice step for step for step you have to take all of it and condense it down into something usable and the best version of that that i have seen and it absolutely blew my mind is what they use in golf and this video i haven't outlined it but normally i've mentioned it before but probably is worth saying again in these videos, this format of video, the reason that I am doing it this way is so that you are taking notes for yourself. You are making what you find useful real to you. I don't want to be the one telling you all of the key information and it's just this and this is what you take away. It's constant reevaluation. I still, I want you to be taking the notes. For this time and a few other times, I'm sure I'm going to be doing a bit of outlining. So I'd say this part is worth writing down for yourself. What I saw them talking about in golf is called the weld. And that's a terrible pen. I haven't tested this out, so you gotta bear with me for a second. Where's the undo? You can get this guy. Weld. Absolutely incredible. Stands for wind elevation that's not an l elevation this is why i don't take notes for you so i'm i don't know why i'm not just typing this but i'm gonna need to use this utility for other stuff in the future so i'm gonna get used to it now and we're gonna suffer together wind elevation your lie how the ball is laying on the ground, what it's on top of, all of this 
to do with how the ball is literally placed on the ground from obviously when you hit it or it's off the tee that's part of your lie you have a perfect lie off the tee boom that changes and informs your choice and distance all of these things combine together to inform everything about your golf shot the wind obviously affects the path of the ball and how, what you need to do to the ball to properly affect it to compensate for the wind the elevation change is going to obviously affect your ball flight and what you want to do with the ball especially in accordance with the wind your lie is also affects these other two things so now do you have a really bad lie but the elevation is in your favor so if you have a ball that's on the side of the fucking hill but your elevation that you're going for is way below you like all of these factors come together and then how far away is the pin from your lie if you're on the side of a 45 degree angle hill and the pin is right here you can't see it because i'm blocking it god damn it we're all suffering together don't worry this is agony for me too i'm gonna go top right if you are on the side of a hill and you're standing over it and you're at an extreme angle and you know obviously this is level your club is being held however you have determined but then so then the ball is this is an awful explanation by the way but this is how complicated it gets so if the elevation is way below, that's going to change the way you hit the shot. If your elevation is way above your feet, that's going to change your shot. If the pin is right here instead of right here, that is also going to change your decisions. How far do you have to hit it is going to change what club you use. The lie, the way that it's sitting within the grass is going to change the club that you use. The distance is obviously going to change the club that you use. All of these factors combine into your weld, your weld. That's what you think about is what, how am I welding this? And it's such a great analogy. It's such a great, it's everything about it works so well. It's like, it's a verb that you understand, that you know, that you've heard. It's a word that means something that you are like applying it to something. How are you welding that? It's a verb that you can use, but it's also completely simply contains all of the information that you need to consider to make an informed decision. And, you know, with, like if I'm playing video games, obviously the wind and the elevation and the lie of my golf ball don't have anything to do with the game that I'm playing unless I'm playing a golf video game. And then you can weld it. Go for it. You got to figure it out. But to do with all of the other sports there is something like that there that you can develop for yourself that is going to be absolutely invaluable and it's not that difficult to come up with but you have to seriously seriously consider as many things about the game that you're playing as possible and it's just another layer of critical thought that involves all of the other layers and kind of combines them together and in a way that is much more easy to convey to other people on top of just that automaticness of how am I going to weld this? Saying that is so much faster than, oh God, well, okay, so let's explain the situation and then let's, uh, let's go through all, like all the things that we all found wrong with it and all this. You don't want to do that in the middle of the game. That's what practice is for. That's what, all of those conversations are to be had to develop this weld so your conversations don't sound like that when you don't have enough time to be talking that way, which is usually the case in the middle of the game. I don't know what game you're playing, but anything competitive is usually limited by time as well in one way or another, aren't we all? And so in your practice, 
want to outline how important it is to make sure that you aren't just like always playing it safe you, that you aren't just like oh in a practice i play and i would never do that in game i would never well you don't know that you would never do that until you understand why you shouldn't do that that's what the practice is for go fail in practice relentlessly obviously you want to mix in the why you should be doing the good stuff make sure that you're covering all of those bases but understanding why stuff doesn't work is extremely pertinent information and that's going to be just as important in developing all of this stuff as figuring out what does work there's might be a whole lot more letters in there that you aren't aware of yet that you need to really work out for yourself can't take other people's advice for granted you see well why doesn't that work all right well i'm gonna go see for myself and then you find out and it's oh shit yeah that doesn't work holy fuck that does not work there's a lot of information there that is very positive even in failure that's what you have to really focus on is it's not that's not failing that's not failing that's not the negative connotation of just failure discovering what doesn't work is very important if not just as important as what does why that stuff doesn't work will always be usable information in the long run it might be obvious you might see why it doesn't work very quickly but doing that due diligence is very valuable and developing that mindset while that diligence is being done is extremely important understanding why you're doing all the small stuff that doesn't work you got to see it for yourself for it to really sink in you want to sink those those pillars deep you got to see the pillar go in for yourself you got to see where that hole leads you got to know why it is where it is and exactly where that pillar is landing you need to know that they're spaced evenly that you have an even coverage across your foundation why was what was the point of setting up that strong foundation if you're not building a structure worth building on top of it doesn't make any sense right that's pretty obvious so now when we're practicing in general failure failure is an option that's one of the main options b what doesn't work that is valuable and when you're doing that you can't just be getting into pillow fights in practice. You got to push yourself. If you're in game and you're afraid to go around the corner, that's not valuable information. You got to press W. You got to go. You got to move forward. Move forward. Get rid of the, I don't want to move forward. I don't want to go anywhere because I might die or I might lose. Yeah, you're going to fucking die. Yeah, you're going to lose. Go, 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 go. Hurry up. God, get it done. What are you waiting for? Go, hurry up. Why are you wasting your time? Turn that corner, go, press W, press W. Everyone makes mistakes, it's gonna happen. You have to learn somehow. Go around that corner. I don't care you do it. If you gotta fire your gun while you're coming around to make yourself feel better, cross that corner, do it. Turn the corner, realize sometimes you're gonna die, sometimes you're not, but the information that you glean from that is more valuable than having just been the person that doesn't die sometimes in practice, even though you aren't that person, you still die all the time, you still lose all the time, so why are you afraid of it now? It's not gonna stop. Use it, use it properly. When you are practicing, that's the time to let it all out. Amongst the making sure that you're hitting every point correctly, you gotta figure out why you don't want to hit those points as well and i mean that might be just like fuck around mess up time part of your practice designate a time to just but when you're always practicing there's room for that stuff in the middle of your practice there's room for all of these small little things that you can try you can just throw shots up at the rim just throw shit at weird angles turn around and fucking throw it over your head and just see what stuff feels like launch stuff at different angles do 
things in places that you wouldn't do it from. Put yourself in difficult situations and see what it takes to get out of them. Can you just not get out of them ever? You find it impossible to get out of that situation? All right, well, there's another situation I have identified that I cannot afford to be in. So I'm going to do what I can and not be in that situation anymore. This is the stuff that creates your wealth. You can't be afraid of it. Go out there and go get it. Go press W. Don't be in pillow fights. You're not learning anything because when that pillow has a brick in it and you're like, oh, I thought we were using fucking, you know, 2000 thread covers and goose down. So, no, why? Why did you think that? Mine has 10 bricks in it. What? Who brought you? Why? Why did you bring that? Who's no one's in a pillow fight in real games. Why are you practicing pillow fighting? Go get them. Go get them. What are you doing? Standing around. And like I said uh, just a little while ago, PC didn't catch it. Most competitive environments have time restrictions to them in one form or another. As soon as that is the case, this is now a racing game. This is now a racing game. So are you considering that in your weld as well? Are you considering how fast you can possibly go when you're doing all this because that's going to cut a few letters down are you considering speed in every version of what you are going for and it's something that you're constantly going to be developing and as you can as you can go faster as the game slows down the pace and the timing is going to be easier for you and that's going to allow for other things as well as your awareness increases, you're going to realize that you might have been missing half of the sentence that this turns into. But at the same time, I promise you, you're never going to find the other half of the sentence if you are not absolutely slamming W and not concerning yourself with pillow fights. You got to go. This is a racing game. I don't care what it is. This is a racing game. You got to go. If you want to do it more and you want to be better, faster, more often, you gotta fucking go. You gotta go. No more wasting your time with fucking pillow fights. No more standing around wondering what the fuck is going on. You have to figure out, this is how I go the fastest that I can possibly go. And this is where I'm starting. This is how I'm going to develop this. This is what it sounds like. And developing... What your answers look like is not nearly as hard as you think it is when you really just take the time to put some thought into it. So let's just do that together real fast.